Um, ordinarily, in case you don't know, since you've just been on this site for a month, um, I don't know how it works, but the process that has been followed, the process that I understand that is legal by under CERCLA and that has been operating here, <coughs> is you notify the stakeholders that there is a plan, you tell them where they get the plan, and you let them know when the clock starts running. So I have to say definitely on behalf of everybody here, I would urge very strongly that uh, DOE indeed institute a 45-day uh, comment period so that indeed, now that we know there's a document, now that we have it, we can actually go home and in a reasonable amount of time absorb the information, make our comments in the way that we're used to making comments, in a way that is indeed consistent with established California and federal law. I think that would go a long way towards showing how DOE indeed does approach this process. Uh, I would like to say also, this is a non-time non critical cleanup, and I'm kind of wondering what's the hurry. Um, we have a document here, one of the operating licenses says that decommissioning and uh, decontamination of the site was done, uh, finished in 1978, <coughs> and then it said it is assumed this, this building will stay here for a very long time to allow it to cool down. And I'm sure that when you look at the lives of these radionuclides, some of them lasting 250,000 years, that 16 or 19 years is really not what they had in mind when they said a very long time to let it decay. So I would like to put that into the record. Um, I would like to point out, in case anybody hasn't seen it, that I think that the DOE puts a, a real sharp point on it on their new banners check out some of their cleanup sites and it says making accelerated cleanups a reality. What's the fastest way that you know how to accelerate a cleanup? It's not by pouring more money into it, it's not by running more tests, and it's not by cleaning up more, it's by declassifying stuff from high level to medium or medium to low and calling it something that it's not and then disposing of it in the Calabasas landfill. There, snap, reactor, buildings, going to the Calabasas landfill. No kidding, that's what they're saying. Okay, so you really need to get your head around what they're talking about here because the scope of this is just astonishing. Making accelerated cleanups a reality? How about safe cleanups, we don't care how much it costs? in dealing with easily a dozen different agencies, state, federal, county, local, community-based homeowners associations. In my life, I've never seen anything put out by any agency supposed to be in charge of our protection that has the word cost analysis associated with it. Hire a semanticist. I'm serious. Words say everything, and you guys are wearing it all over your sleeve. What's fastest, what's cheapest, what's quickest, and what gets us the heck out of here the fastest. You're coming into a very nasty situation, sir. I really don't feel, uh, I'm sorry. You really are being walking just into a maelstrom here. Uh, I would like to say, uh, again, duplicate what uh, Dan said about the sort of shell game that was played with the numbers in terms of residential, versus rural, versus industrial. That's exactly what it is. It is a numbers shell game. I would like to see DOE use only residential EPA standards as the only measurement here, because that's the only bank of numbers that we can trust. Um, why are the DOE offices on site now at SSFL? And can somebody please explain to me what the difference is between you guys? Because you sit together, you eat together, you talk together, you work together, and we can't see any difference. Maybe there is a difference. I'd like to have it enunciated. And more importantly, I'd like to be told where the divisions and where the separations are. DOE and Boeing. We can't tell the difference. Can somebody please explain the difference in the two roles? Somebody? Phil? Oh, you're asking. That's somebody. Can somebody please explain? Because this is a new 
change is that DOE has moved on to SSFL. It's a little odd, so I'd like to use this opportunity to get that question answered. Okay. You're pausing for me to answer just that one question. That one question. Everything has been a comment up to this point. This is number five. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. One of the, the, re one of the reasons why I'm here, or why DOE now has a full-time presence on that site, is that we want to focus on the cleanup and finish up the remediation there on that site. Um, some of the remediation there has taken a considerable length of time. Uh, that site's operation ceased in 88, and we're sitting here in 2007, and there's still facilities there on that site. And may I add that there is screechingly little information and documentation on what happened to all of the other buildings until EPA got involved. Um, that was part of what we were asking Mike Lopez for. So actually, uh, there has not been much disclosure about what happened until then. So it's kind of like we've only got a very brief glance about what has been going on up there. So that's why we're extra careful about the last little bits of it. Okay. I'm here, and I'm not going anywhere, so you're going to see me quite often as we try to clean up here on the site. And my responsibility is to make sure that the public is involved in the cleanup process. In spite of what may have happened there at the site in the past, it's my responsibility, it's the department's commitment that the public will have an opportunity to comment on the work that we're doing there on that site. And this was the first attempt, first project that I had there on that site, and I was trying to make sure that happened. There have been a number of claims here through the night, or throughout this evening on as, as to just how much, uh, whether this is a sham, or and it's not a sham. We really are trying to involve the, pro the public in the process. Do um, you, you understand how you really, I'm sorry, stumbled out of the starting block on that one? I, that was not a public notification. You walked into a wall. I've heard but, you yeah, okay. I mean, I mean, it violates law, and it's you know really disingenuous. I, I mean, just for the future, I'm just trying to tell you why we are so upset at that because it doesn't follow circle law, and it doesn't follow the precedent that has been long standing in this community about proper mailing, proper notification, about 30-day comment periods, about the availability of documents that it, you know impact the site. It's extraordinarily important, and I can't urge you strongly enough to agree to a 45-day extension to hopefully rectify the problem. Anyway, and maybe it was a comment about the seeming indivisibility between Boeing and, and DOE, but I would, I would say that this is a grand step up from what we have been subjected to in the prior DOE meetings in the last few years, which is a set of posters cookies and no opportunity to get ans questions answered. So this really is a, a wonderful opportunity and we really appreciate the return to this format. Um, and so I would just say uh, this, this, it's a streamlined EECA. You can't stream anything, streamline anything. I'm sorry, not in this community, not on this site, not in this project cross all the T's, dot all the I's. I did download four copies of the EPA comment letter January 11th on this plan, and they do say you're streamlining. They do say you're not following CERCLA. They do say that your standards are not EPA cleanup compliant with residential use, which is what they have been on record for the past several years is doing. So I have to back up everything that Dan said because the facts do speak in his favor. Thank you very much.